Hello, hello. All right, back for part two of part one that you guys watched. If not, go back and check it out. All right, so I resized my candles in part one. You guys see me press this one. Make sure you guys um, click check the links in the description. So let me turn that on and let's get to um, tape in. So as we can see, it's always good to measure your blank. Even though it all should fit, sometimes things happen. So here we go. So we're back. Tape it right there. Make sure it is nice and tight. Your transfer should not be um, sliding up and down or anything. And then we're going to get the thicker tape. We're going to press these for a total of five minutes. Hold on, let me get my scissors. Total of five minutes. I'm going to cook it halfway and rotate it. So that's how I'm going to do it. This is a 20 ounce tumbler press. We're gonna do four, because in the other video, I did three. Make sure you press all the air out. There we go. Time is almost there. Make sure you wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. where my seams at. There we go. So if you guys haven't checked out the other videos, go check it out. Make sure you guys hit like, follow, see what I do next. Appreciate the support. I know a lot of you guys just follow to see what designs I'm using. That's fine too. You can still hit like since you like the design. But I know if you guys like the like it or not. I know to do more or not. Almost to the temperature. All right. Hopefully everybody's having a fabulous day. There we go. Got that one done. Let me um, wrap this up. Ooh, don't be rushing. This one's not even lined up. It's hard when you don't have a background and white on white.
There we go. Let me put the big tape on. Okay, sorry, I just wanna make sure that it stays at that temperature. And if your tape leaves any residue, throw it away. It shouldn't. All right. All right, let's get to it. Drop it in, seam up. There we go. Put it in the middle. Close it. There we go. Let it cook. Let me double check. Let's take these. And I made my design pretty, um, not to have any, um, air, so it's pretty close. So I gotta be real tight. really tight. That's so hard. Oh, I got my other light on too. Make sure that it's lined up at that top rim. If it doesn't, we got 40 seconds on this one. Make sure you're at the your seam. Your rim going all the way around. Just like that. All right. There we go. Where's the thing? To rotate it. Oops, I lost my little holder thing. Oh no. I'll find it. Alright, got my little thing. I put it away. You know, when you're done with the video, you start putting stuff away. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Well, let me finish this. I want to leave you guys hanging. You're like, wait, she didn't finish. So if you see part one, you understand part two. All right. There we go.
one done. That one done. So these are the ones I did in the other video. With the 30 ounce tumbler. Forty seconds to go. Right. 10 seconds to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Remember, you can use these for anything. Candy jars, paper, pencil holder. Um, you know, you don't have to um, use them for, for candles. You can use them for anything. Beautiful inside. Oh, there you go. Got that one off. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and put the other one in. Same. I'll post the pictures in the group for you guys to get a closer look. Okay, that one's done. Let me finish taping this one. All the way up to the rim. Um, the designs slash elements I got off of um, Creative Fabrica. I will leave um, all that in the description. Make sure you guys like the video, especially if you like the design. Then I know I keep leaving the link. Because before I wasn't leaving then, and then people asked. So let me know, let me know. This one, I got a little gap in the middle. Let's see if I can get that. Or not they lined up a little gap
press it real good. Get any of the air. There we go. Seam is still up, so let's rotate it. Sometimes you get in the groove and you're like, wait, did I rotate it? That's one way to tell you if you put, do it with the seam up. What you know. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap this one. That one's ready. This one's still a little warm. Came out beautiful. Oops. And then pack them in this little box right here. Put the lid on it, drop it in the box, put some tissue or whatever, and then there you go. Or drop it in this kind of box, and there you go. Or you can get one of those little cellophane um, bags, do it that way. All depends how you want to do it. Here's the candle I use. I like it. It'll give you a more if it was darker. is done so you got the candle you got the box get some tissue put your custom stickers on it good to go good to go ten seconds and we'll put the other ones in It's not counting because the temperature um, dropped. Oh my gosh. Put it upside down. Oh, wow. Make sure when you grab your design, you grab them the right way. But you get to still see <laughs> how pretty it is. I'll put it upside down, then you guys can see. Nice colors. Nice and pretty.
Nice and pretty. Not really right for the pigeon. All right, all right. So we did this one, did this one. Did this one in part one video, along with this one. Beautiful. Gorgeous. They all came out beautiful, beautiful. So we're doing four in this one. We did three in a and a 30 ounce in the part one, part two, four candles, three, one upside down. Hey, well, at least I show you what it looks like upside down, right? Eighty seconds on this one, and then we will rotate. So just make sure you measure. from the top to where it curves. I don't measure all the way to the bottom and then wrap it around and measure. And then that's how I came up with the designs. So, yep, yep, yep. You can also use Dollar Tree um, little lights if you want. Here's the lid, nice, nice bamboo lid. You can um, probably engrave on it if you have an engraver. 20 seconds to go. Twenty seconds. Beautiful. And I practice with copy paper until I get my sizing. And placement right so I um, print the words out on copy paper I tape it I stare at it hmm do I want it wider do I want it taller so everybody's style is different that's what makes the world go round so um, yeah so just depending on how you like it determine there we go would determine um, how you like it so it's all a preference on if you want it big or not so let's see this one does look like it's gonna have a seam, but maybe not. That might just been like the moonlight or something in there. So we'll see. Um, it has to get back to the correct temperature before it starts counting. Remember every tumbler press is different. I'm doing 374, five minutes, rotate halfway. Um, the other one, I do the same temperature too. Um, so, um, it, you know, they're all different and then your pressure and everything all plays a part. So, but at least it gives you a guidance on it. If you're trying to start, you know, just do it. You just have to see if you have, um, light spots, pressure issues and all that. Um, you know, so make sure that it's all good. That's why I didn't go all the way to the bottom because since it, it's rounded, you'll have those little things that people have on tumblers. I'll show you this one's more colorful. So I went all the way to the top. No problem. All right. There it goes with the lid on it. 
nice and pretty. Got 80 seconds to go. And then we'll put our last one in. This one, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Fifty seconds to go. Do, 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 do. And I'll leave um, all the links to the design. Uh, I put the outline on the word, then it can kind of help it stand out. I did it yeah and this one I did the outline so you just have to pick I didn't want black so I went with white and then matched my color code um, to go with it then it's not too far off all right let's put the next one in this is our last one all the tape off and the transfer is still on. Ooh. Beautiful. Nice little deer. Oops. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I did see it kind of browning, but I don't know if that was part of the design or not. With the light shining or whatever, inside it looks fine, but it could have been. Now it's starting to count. So I'm probably going from up and down. But my scene does look good. I'm trying to see where. I think. I'm trying to see where my. I think this is my seam when the trees come together so I guess I did tape it pretty good yeah that's where it is I can kind of see it on the bottom so it did kind of brown right there but we'll see um, this next one so this one definitely has black in it so hopefully it doesn't um, Burn. Let that cool off. It still looks good though. Looks like it's kind of in the picture. This white up here, that's residue from the paper. I'll get that off when it cools off. Let's see. Look how pretty it looks inside. So there you go. 
This is the last one. Forty seconds to go. I probably might not let it go the whole thing since this one was kind of burning. We'll see if it holds the temperature. The temperature is going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then we got 10 seconds and we'll rotate it. Three seconds and the temperature is dropped. temperature. I don't know why it was hard to close that time. And it does look like I have a seam, I believe. My tape might have came undone. So the timer is going. And that's the thing too that you can kind of look inside and see. stuff so Because you want to make sure where the part that where that crack was, that that part is cooking. Where the seam was, but I think we'll do it like that. We'll cut it sixty-five seconds shorter just because it was cooking on the other one. And this one looks like it was kind of burning a little bit. So we stopped the timer at 60 mark. So we did this one 60 seconds less. And that one. You might have to if you're doing a whole bunch back to back. You never know. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Whoops. It's a little hot. Until next time. Take care. Bye.